Now, the next question we have is in which we have a five member ring and the methyl group is there on the one of the carbon. On the same carbon, we have CHOH CH3. So now, H plus is given and we are heating it. Now again, the thought process should be like given reactant is an alcohol. That means this reaction will be either elimination or nucleophilic substitution. Now because we are heating it, that means there is no favorable factor given in the reaction or there is no condition in the reaction which is favorable for nucleophilic substitution. First reason is we are heating it and the second reason is there is no nucleophile given in the reaction. That means the idea of carrying out nucleophilic substitution in this reaction has to be dropped out. The second reaction this compound can undergo is elimination. So now what will happen is H plus will attack on OH. It forms OH2 plus. Now because OH2 plus is a good leaving group so this will move out and carbocation will be formed which is a 2 degree carbocation. Now because if you see in this case that we have a 5 member ring and over this 5 member ring we have a carbon which has a positive charge. That means this is a case of ring expansion. Now to make it bit easier let us number these carbons. Carbon having a positive charge let us number it as 1 and on the ring the carbon which has a methyl group let us number it as 2 and if you continue the numbering it will be something like 3, 4, 5, 6. Now again ring expansion in this case can take place either from the bond between 2nd and 6th carbon or from the bond between 2nd and 3rd carbon. Both are identical. So ring expansion in this case can take place from any of the bond. That is either between 2nd and 3rd bond or between 2nd and 6th carbon bond. If suppose ring expansion takes place from 2nd and 3rd carbon then what will happen is the bond between 2nd and 3rd will be broken and 3rd carbon will make a bond with the 1st carbon. So now the product formed will be this. Now on the 2nd carbon we will have a positive charge because the bond between 2nd and 3rd carbon has been broken and rebond formation of 3rd carbon has taken place with the 1st carbon. Therefore, in this case it is the 2nd carbon which will be electron deficient. Now, on this 2nd carbon we have a carbocation which is 3 degree and it is highly stable for this particular structure. So now what will happen is simply one of the H present on the first carbon will give its electron and forms a alkene and other possibility is that sixth carbon has also got two hydrogens. So a hydrogen from the sixth carbon can also give its electron to form another alkene. The first alkene formed is this that is 1,2-dimethyl cyclohexene and the second alkene which is formed that is 
टू थ्री डाइमिथाइल साइक्लोहेक्सिन नाउ वन टू डाइमिथाइल साइक्लोहेक्सिन इज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट बिकॉज एज पर दी सेट जे फ्रूल देर आर नो हाइड्रोजन ऑन द कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड कार्बन वेर एज इन द सेकेंड एल्किन देर इज अ वन हाइड्रोजन ऑन द कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड कार्बन सो दीज आर द टू प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म आउट ऑफ विच वन टू डाइमिथाइल साइक्लोहेक्सिन विल बी द मेजर प्रोडक्ट वेल नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव इज दट इज थ्री थ्री डाइमिथाइल ब्यूटेन टू ऑल लूजेज ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ वॉटर इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एच टू एस ओ फोर टू गिव टेट्रा मिथाइल इथाइलीन एज अ मेजर प्रोडक्ट सजेस्ट अ सूटेबल मकैनिज्म नाउ एज इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ इट सेज दैट वी आर गिवन अ एल्कोहॉल and it is forming a alkene that means we have to carry out elimination reaction only there is no point of nucleophilic substitution in this case now first of all what will happen is that on 3 di on 3 3 dimethyl ब्यूटेन टू ऑल एच प्लस फ्रॉम दी एच टू एस ओ फोर विल कॉज प्रोटोनेशन ऑन ओ एच ग्रुप ऑफ द गिवन एल्कोहल एंड सो ओ एच टू प्लस विल बी फॉर्म्ड दैट इज दिस नाउ दिस ओ एच टू प्लस is a good leaving group it will move out and forms a secondary carbocation now this carbocation can actually undergo rearrangement reaction therefore the product formed will be this after the 1 2 methyl shift from its adjacent carbon now the carbocation formed after the rearrangement is a 3 degree carbocation which is highly stable so now what will happen is h plus from the carbon adjacent to the c positive carbon will give its electron and form the desired product that is tetramethyl 